Have you ever wondered why someone would choose to be a lesbian? This isn't a question of mere curiosity, but one that opens the door to a deeper understanding of human diversity and sexuality. It's a question that allows us to explore the myriad reasons why individuals identify as lesbian, highlighting the complexity and richness of our human experience. So let's set any preconceptions aside and embark on this enlightening journey together. Well, today we're going to delve into 10 reasons why someone might choose this path. First off, emotional compatibility. It's a cornerstone of any relationship, but it often takes on a deeper resonance when two women connect. Why, you ask? Well, it's primarily due to shared experiences and a mutual understanding that can be incredibly profound. Picture this, two individuals navigating the world through the same lens, experiencing similar societal pressures, expectations, and joys. The empathy that arises from such shared experiences can foster a deep emotional connection that is both comforting and empowering. Moreover, women are often socialized to be more emotionally expressive and perceptive, which can lead to a heightened understanding and communication of feelings within the relationship. This can result in a bond that's not only emotionally satisfying, but also mentally stimulating. In essence, emotional compatibility is about finding a partner who truly understands and resonates with your experiences and emotions, so the first reason is all about seeking emotional depth. Secondly, physical attraction. Humans, in all their wonderful diversity, are driven by an array of attractions. One of these is physical attraction, a compelling force that draws us towards certain people. For some women, this attraction is directed towards other women. It's a simple fact, yet one that holds immense power. The shape of a woman, the curve of her smile, the sound of her laugh, the way she moves, all these can be magnetic to another woman. This isn't about preference or choice, but a natural inclination, a pull as fundamental as gravity. Physical attraction, in this sense, is not merely about lust or desire. It's about connection and resonance, about seeing and being seen. It's about recognizing in another something that stirs within oneself. This can be a profound and transformative experience, sparking not just passion, but also self-discovery and growth. Attraction, after all, is a strong motivator. Thirdly, breaking stereotypes. In a world that often tries to fit people into boxes, being a lesbian can be a powerful act of defiance. It's about challenging societal norms and expectations, about proving that love and attraction are not confined to the traditional male-female dynamic. This is not about rebellion for rebellion's sake, but about the empowerment that comes from living your truth. Imagine the freedom of not being bound by the idea of should be and instead embracing the reality of is. This defiance of stereotypes can be liberating. It can help foster a greater sense of self-awareness and authenticity. It's about not allowing societal norms to dictate who you love or how you express that love. It's about asserting one's individuality and freedom, and in doing so, helping to pave the way for others to do the same. It's about asserting one's individuality and freedom. Fourthly, shared interests. Picture this, you're in a relationship where both of you have a deep love for things that are typically considered girly. Maybe it's a passion for rom-coms, a shared obsession with the latest makeup trends, or a mutual love for baking. While it's not impossible to find these shared interests in a heterosexual relationship, it's often more common in lesbian relationships simply because societal norms and interests typically align more closely between two women. Moreover, sharing interests doesn't just mean having fun together. It also includes understanding and empathizing with each other's experiences. For instance, both partners in a lesbian relationship can understand the unique challenges and joys of womanhood on a personal level. Whether it's a mutual love for a hobby or a shared understanding of life experiences, these commonalities can create a deep and powerful connection between two people. After all, isn't it beautiful when love and friendship collide? Common ground can be a powerful bonding tool. Fifthly, avoiding toxic masculinity. This is a common reason some women may choose to identify as lesbian. Toxic masculinity refers to a harmful social construct that encourages men to suppress emotions, be overly dominant, and perpetuate aggressive behavior. It's a form of gender role that is not only harmful to men, but can also create an oppressive environment for women in heterosexual relationships. In contrast, lesbian relationships offer a space where women can express their feelings without the fear of being invalidated or dismissed. They can create partnerships based on mutual respect, understanding, and equality. 
the absence of these toxic masculine traits allows for a more balanced and healthier relationship. Now, it's important to remember not all men embody toxic masculinity and not all lesbian relationships are free of it, but the desire to avoid such a dynamic can indeed be a compelling reason to embrace lesbianism. Seeking a safe and respectful relationship is crucial. Sixthly, exploring sexuality. Delving into the vastness of one's sexuality can be an exhilarating journey of self-discovery. It's about recognizing that sexuality isn't binary, but exists on a spectrum. Identifying as a lesbian allows space for that exploration, for understanding the nuances of attraction, desire, and emotional connection. This exploration isn't just about knowing who you are attracted to, but also about understanding yourself in a deeper, more intimate way. It's about questioning societal norms, breaking free from preconceived notions, and embracing the fluidity of human nature. It's about acknowledging that love and attraction are multidimensional, not confined to traditional boundaries. Being a lesbian can mean the freedom to explore these dimensions, to understand your desires, your passions, your emotional and physical needs. It's about finding your place on the spectrum of sexual orientation and embracing that identity with pride. After all, we are complex beings and our sexuality is just one aspect of that complexity. Exploration can lead to self-discovery. Seventhly, making a political statement. In a world where patriarchal structures have long dominated, being a lesbian can be a form of resistance. It's a way to challenge the status quo, to question the societal norms that have been deeply ingrained in our cultures. It's a stand against the notion that love and relationships should only exist within the confines of heteronormativity. Remember, being a lesbian isn't necessarily about making a statement but it can certainly serve as one. It is a way to push back against a system that has historically marginalized and oppressed women and queer individuals. It's a way to say, I exist, I matter, and I refuse to be confined by your definitions. It's a powerful way to express oneself and to advocate for change. It's about embracing who you are, loving who you love, and doing so unapologetically. It's about living authentically, even if that challenges societal expectations. Sometimes personal choices make powerful statements. Eighthly, biological reasons. In the world of science, there's a growing body of evidence suggesting that our sexual orientation may well be influenced by our biology. For some, being a lesbian isn't just about personal choice or environment, but something they're born with. Imagine a spectrum of human sexuality, where the attraction to different genders isn't black or white, but a gradient of colors shaped by our individual biological makeup. Research has proposed various theories from hormonal influences during fetal development to genetic factors and even the structure of the brain. While these theories are still being explored and none can be definitively proven yet, they offer fascinating insights into the complexity of human sexual orientation. The idea is not to reduce being a lesbian to a mere biological function, but to recognize that our biology can potentially influence who we are attracted to. Nature, it seems, is not just about survival of the fittest, but also about diversity and variation. Nature plays a role, too. Ninthly, community support. Let's delve into the power of communal backing that's often found in the lesbian community. There's a remarkable sense of camaraderie and unity that tends to be fostered here. This isn't just about being part of a group, it's about being part of a family. A family that understands the unique experiences, challenges, and triumphs that come with being a lesbian. In times of adversity or celebration, this community is there, offering a shoulder to lean on, a hand to hold, or a cheer to share in success. It's a haven of acceptance where individuals can be their authentic selves without fear of judgment. Moreover, this supportive environment often extends beyond emotional backing. It can include resources like safe spaces, educational forums, and advocacy groups. These are invaluable tools for those navigating their journey of self-discovery and acceptance. In essence, being part of the lesbian community means having a network of support that stands with you through thick and thin. Having a strong support system is vital. Finally, personal choice. This is perhaps the most compelling reason of all. Being a lesbian like any other sexual orientation is fundamentally about personal choice. It's about exercising the freedom to choose who to love, how to express that love, and how to live one's life authentically. Every person's journey is unique. Each individual's reasons for identifying as a lesbian will be different. Some may find that they are more emotionally connected to women. Others may be more physically attracted to women. Some may find empowerment in challenging societal norms and stereotypes. 
while others may feel a sense of belonging in the lesbian community. But, at the core of it all, it's about making a choice that feels right for you. A choice that allows you to be true to yourself. A choice that brings you happiness, peace, and fulfillment. Because at the end of the day, what matters most, is that you are living your life according to your own terms. At the end of the day, it's about personal choice. So there you have it. 10 Reasons Why Someone Might Choose to Be a Lesbian From emotional compatibility to breaking stereotypes, from exploring sexuality to making a political statement, each reason reflects the beautiful diversity of experiences and motivations, personal choice, community support, shared interests, avoiding toxic masculinity, all paint a vivid picture of why someone might make this choice. Remember, everyone's journey is unique and these are just a few possible reasons. Respect and understanding are key.